So hi, my name is Joris and I work for the University of Twente's BMS lab. I'm going to explain what TIM stands for and what it does. So the T in TIM stands for Twente. Twente is the place where in the east part of the Netherlands where the University of Twente is located and where we develop the TIM application and dashboard with our lovely colleagues from the development team and the researchers and edu educators that work here. So TIM has two eyes. The first eye stands for intervention and that is because TIM can be used to create interventions for your participants. For example, you would like your participants to stop with an unhealthy habit like eating unhealthy or smoking. You could use STEM to create an intervention that is both personalized to the individual participant and based on their daily routine and schedules and decision making. So the second I in TIM stands for interaction. TIM is very good at creating a natural interaction with your participants. For example, you would like to not just prescribe the therapy to a participant or support them through therapy through the app, you'd actually like to get some feedback and adapt what you're doing automatically based on their input. So the last letter of TIM is the M and it stands for machine. Machines are meant to make processes easier or quicker. TIM is really designed and keeps being designed to enable researchers to more quickly, efficiently and effectively roll out their research. It, it helps the researcher do research that is normally not possible, reach audiences that are normally not reachable and have bigger and larger pools of participants. Thank you for watching this video about TIM. We're going to do more videos like this with different members of the team speaking about TIM and the software we make for researchers. Keep following us to learn more.